Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be reviewing Kylie's skin. Kylie Jenner is a very, very famous. She is amazing. And I got to go to her launch party this week. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to be honest with you about her new brand with skincare. If you guys don't know who she is, follow her on Instagram. She's an amazing mother. She is part of the Kardashian Jenner clan and empire. And I just love her so much. And I admire her hustle and her hard work. And it's just crazy to see what she's done um, when it comes to her launch party, her packaging, her cosmetics, because she is thoroughly involved and you can tell that she loves doing it. So today I threw on a wig, I threw on this headband, which is barely hanging on for dear life because my head is ginormous, but I did receive the PR package, which I'm going to show you, and I also received a goodie bag from her party. Uh, when we left and I'm really excited to try it. I have taken such good care of my skin. I want to bring you guys up close and show you guys my skin. All right guys, so we're here up and close and you guys can see I've had such problematic skin in the past, but I feel like I've been taking care of my texture. I do talk about my texture all the freaking time. So that's why I'm always good to highlight because I don't want to highlight any of my texture. I do have lots of hyperpigmentation, which is something I like to focus on. I do have large pores. I get oily on my nose really, really fast. So the review is not going to be complete because this is skincare. It's not like makeup where it's a pigmented swatch or you're going to see the instant payoff or the longevity of it. This is skincare. So with skincare, you kind of have to give it some time and test it over a couple of weeks to see if it really works for you. Um, from what I have seen online, there has been, um, I guess, a little bit of backlash when it comes to the walnut scrub. She did say that it was a walnut powder, and I'm here to give it a chance. And another thing too that I saw is that I think her eye cream looks very, very similar to Tatcha's component. And you guys know I love Tatcha and the eye cream is like so expensive, but I'm interested to see what Kylie um, has come up with. So let's just jump right in. Guys, let me just tell you, this wig is for show. Like, it is actually super tight and super hot under here, so I'm probably gonna change to my turban. But don't I look cute? All right, guys, so it did launch, and it is probably sold out because that is the cadence of her business that we've seen so far because she's very, very, very extremely popular. So over here, we have the Kylie Skin Set, which is everything for $125. That is not bad for everything in this kit. I do know that she has a younger audience, so this is awesome for someone that adores Kylie Jenner and that is wanting to get into skincare or something regimented for their skin. However, does it really um, do well? The foaming face wash that I have here is $24. The face scrub is $22. Vanilla milk toner is $22. The vitamin C serum is $28. Face moisturizer is $24. The eye cream is $20. Wow, because that's very affordable. Makeup removing wipes is $10. And the bag is $22. Oh, and everything on the bottom, it says it's cruelty-free, gluten-free, vegan, paraben, sulfate-free, and dermatologist tested. That's pretty cool. Right here is the PR kit that I received. It's a beautiful package with a mirror, and I'm opening it for the first time right now. Oh, wow. It's like a little medicine cabinet. Very, very, very nice. Very nice. I love good packaging. Okay, so let me show you guys now with the foam out. Wow, this is stunning. It's very pink, very girly, very clean. And there are six products total that we have here in the PR package. All right, guys, now that I got my thumbnail, I'm going to rip this wig off because it's burning my head. And I need to really get into this so I can thoroughly wash my face and get into the skincare. Whoop, there it is, bye. I, I was trying to be like her friends in the little promo. Y'all know I love good quality content, but you know, when it comes down to sitting here and actually doing stuff, it's where it's at. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this. This is Kylie Skin Foaming Face Wash. It's five ounces. Let's just try it. I love skincare. I really encourage everyone to do it. There is a slight fragrance, but it feels good. I'm weary of foam sometimes because it's a little bit, sometimes foams are too airy. A favorite of mine is the, um, the Tatcha Camellia Cleansing Oil and also Philosophy and Fresh Soy Cleanser. And those are awesome. This has a little fragrance, so I'm a little bit weary of if it's natural and if it would irritate people that are sensitive to fragrance. It's almost like a floral, like a floral scent. 
So on my stubble, it feels a little bit like sensitive, but it could be from the fragrance. For me, when it comes to fragrances in skincare, like if it's a part of like the DNA of the formula, then I'm for it. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the description if it has anything to do with that. This is so messy. Hmm. My skin looks clean. <laughs> but like I said, I'm not gonna be like, oh my God, I'm pretty much the review is gonna be about how it feels and, and the fragrance and the price. Um, and if I think it's for me, I did buy a SkinCeuticals foaming cleanser for Peter. SkinCeuticals is a brand for people that have had surgery or that have super sen sensitive skin and that's very high level clinical grade uh, skincare. And I got that for Peter and it really, really cleared up his skin. And if you guys saw on the vlog, his skin really cleared up and what I've been recommending to him. But however, I am not a dermatologist, but I do like this. So let's see what this actually has. There's nourishing kiwi seed oil. Well, vitamin C and E to help moisture improve elasticity. There is like a fragrance and it feels really good on my skin. Let's move on. And make sure for the full effect, this is the order you guys should be doing your skincare in. So I'm gonna go by this order right here. So next I'm gonna go ahead and use the Kylie Skin Walnut Face Scrub. This is three ounces. Our gentle yet effective walnut exfoliator is essential for achieving a fresh face. Anti-inflammatory ingredients, fruit extracts that buff away dead skin cells to reveal a soft, radiant complexion. Apply to wet skin and gently massage in circular motions. Rinse thoroughly with warm water. In scrubs, you should maybe use two or three times a week or every other day, depending on how sensitive your skin is. If it's, if it's a goal of yours to scrub your skin, um, sometimes people are more sensitive and use it once a week, but let's just see. Okay. It kind of looks like sprinkles frosting on a cupcake, like with cinnamon, brown sugar. <laughs> this is the texture of it. That's it right there, guys. This looks like, <laughs> this looks like a penis. <laughs> okay, so wet skin. I actually love exfoliators for my skin just because I've been so insecure about my, my texture and I do have a lot of buildup with wet heads. And if you guys have a lot, then I, I would recommend this around this nose area. And it is more micronized than the apricot face scrub. It's not like that chunky seed St. Ives thing. It feels really nice. It's not bad. Y'all be so quick to say, to say shit online. All the haters. Well, I thought it would smell sweet, but, or fruity. It smells like nothing. Maybe like ground walnuts. <laughs> It's, yeah, it smells like walnuts. I love washing my face at night. And when you guys are drying your face, just pat. Don't like, you're gonna prematurely like age your skin. My skin feels super soft, super clean. I'm gonna really continue to use that because I think I like it. The foaming cleanser is a little bit fragrant for me personally. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and take the vanilla milk toner. This is alcohol free, it's a facial toner. Replenishes the look and feel of your skin. It's formulated with avocado oil, kiwi seed oil, and apple extract to help smooth tone and restore natural hydration to help minimize, unclog, and purify the appearance of pores. Wow, that looks like a little shampoo. For a more mature audience, like this is not legible. It is so, so, so light, but it's, it's very, very, very pretty and very modern looking. And it's like th that soft matte. Oh, it's like a milky toner. Do you guys see this? The toners that I have normally used are more clear and watery. You guys know I love the Glow to O by Ulla Henriksen. That has AHAs and BHAs and if you guys want to see that video, I have my nighttime skincare routine. This feels like I've never used a toner like that's milky. And it doesn't sting my skin because normally around this area, it would sting. But I know my Glow to O does, does sting, um, but because it is an AHA. It smells nice. It's very, fr it is very fragrant. Guys, we really cannot talk about the toner right now because toner, I can tell an improvement in my skin over a week. All right, so next we're gonna let that toner sink into our skin. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and take the eye cream. Oh, this is actually shorter than Tatcha. It's really, really tiny. This is uh, about just about over a half an ounce. And this applicator literally reminds me of Tatcha. This unique formula contains a blend of caffeine, green tea, and vitamin E, and pomegranate extracts that help brighten, hydrate, and reduce puffiness and the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Just for reference, this is the Kylie and this is the Tatcha. And it is literally the same 
applicator. I think Tatcha's booty hole is a little bit wider than Kylie's. Do you guys see? Boom. Yeah, her booty hole bigger. Oh, it's yellow. I love eye creams. And use your ring finger. This is a lot more thick than what I was expecting in an eye cream. Yeah, it's very thick. Do you guys see? It's like stiff peaks. In an eye cream, I like there to be a little bit more slipperiness, so I'm not pulling in my eye cream. But I do, I will give this a shot. Do you know what I mean? Because it is so, it is a little bit thicker. It has a little bit more of a grip when it comes to it. But I like to apply a lot because right before I go to bed, it is very nice. One squirt of this Tatcha is just about one price of Kylie's. Do you guys see right here there's Tatcha? It doesn't have stiff peaks. It falls right back. But Kylie is like, ooh, she's stiff. Stiff wear. And Tatcha just falls back down. So this is a lot more stiff than Tatcha's. I like my under eyes to feel juicy. I wish she had a lip balm because I love lips. So next is the serum. This is our vitamin C serum. It's packed with powerful ingredients that penetrate the skin to help brighten, reduce redness, stimulate collagen, and help improve the overall skin health. This, ooh. I'm surprised this doesn't have a um, squeezer, I guess for sanitation reasons, so I guess you... No. Oh wait, am I dumb? I'm stupid. <laughs> you stupid, Kylie's like, you dumb. <laughs> this is a squirter. This is the serum. I am obsessed with vitamin C um, products. I don't know if you guys know this, but I am allergic to mint. One day, I was using the Burt's Bees um, chapstick and Girl, let me tell you, I was like, ooh, it's, it's like a chapstick lip plumper. This plumps my lips. Next thing you know, my lip was splitting as I was like, like 10 minutes later because there was such a high concentration of mint. And I've never liked mint ice cream or like mint in my food. Yeah, so I quickly learned that mint or menthol topically wasn't for me. So that's the vitamin C serum. I could see myself liking this because um, I'm obsessed with anything of vitamin C. I would just, I'm just curious at the concentrations of this because they really don't disclaim how much vitamin C that it has. Last but not least, moisturizer. You will always want to end with moisturizer. This is deeply hydrating for all skin types. Conditions the skin for a soft touch finish without any excess oil. That's good. Oat and orange peel extracts help smooth and soften the skin while shea butter helps moisturize. Oh, awesome. And it's a perfect base for your makeup before bed. Mm-hmm. Right. Let's just say. It looks kind of like the Ulla Henriksen um, primer, but bigger. Cute. Ooh, this feels nice. My favorite moisturizer is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. It does really help me, because she says it does like have smooth peptides and things and this and that, but Kylie's feels feels really nice too. And this moisturizer doesn't have, have a scent. Really nice. All right guys, that is my finished review of Kylie's skin. This was more about the experience and my first impressions using it and what are my thoughts on my personal skincare because I really love skincare and I'm obsessed and I'm willing to try anything new to keep this skin intact the more we age and share the wealth and health of our knowledge for skin. So there are three things that I would recommend and that I do love and that I would purchase, that I would find myself purchasing just you know, out of curiosity, I would recommend the Walnut Face Scrub. I do like it. I love exfoliating my face because I wear a lot of makeup. If you're a makeup wearer, makeup lover, and you bake and you bake and you bake, this would be really, really good just to get off of those extra dead airspun particles in your face. The next product is a surprising one. I would purchase the eye cream if I was in a pinch of a budget. This Tatcha eye cream is $80, $90. It is way so expensive. This is 0.5 ounces and this one is 0.7. This one is 0.5 and this is 0.7. There's actually more product in the Kylie one and this is $20. If you're young, if you're a teenager and you wanna take care of your skin and you're not sleeping well and you wanna look good and you wear lots of concealer, take care of your under eyes because that's the first sign that shows in aging. And this is, you know, this would be something that I would recommend from her line if you guys love makeup and you wanna wear it. And if I was 17, 18, 19, maybe 21, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, if I was 28, 29, 30, like, I would buy this. 
you know, it's $20, it's good, there's a lot of product, but just make sure you are using your ring finger to apply it under your eyes. This one, I will recommend the vitamin C serum. I'm obsessed with vitamin C. Ever since I worked at MAC, there was a vitamin C brightening serum, so I feel like you guys see my texture and you guys see the hyperpigmentation. My skin has really evened out over the years and it's because of my love for vitamin C and um and all that jazz so yeah that is my review for the kylie skin be sure to check it out if you guys want to see more reviews more videos like this more intimate me washing my face whatever you want let me know down in the comments below i love you all so much and i will see you all in my next video bye Feel the music, the rhythm,